Welcome to Foot Talk with Sharon. Christmas is just around the corner. And if you are looking for a cake that you can bake for Christmas, but do not want to put in all the effort that's needed for baking a traditional Christmas cake, then today's recipe is just for you. We are making a Scottish Dundee cake. Now this cake doesn't have any alcohol added. And as far as the dry fruits go, we're just adding raisins. So the chopping of dry fruits parts is avoided as well. And this is beautifully flavored with oranges. So let's quickly check out the recipe for this delicious Scottish Dundee cake. But before we do that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And please do click that tiny bell icon and turn on all notifications as well. For making this cake, we first need to make the batter. But before we move on to making the batter, make sure your oven is preheating at 165 degrees Celsius. The batter doesn't take a lot of time to come together. So by the time your batter preparation is done, the oven would be preheated as well. For this cake, we need unsalted butter at room temperature. And into this, let's add some brown sugar and whisk it well. Now in case you don't have brown sugar, you can use regular caster sugar as well. To this goes eggs, the zest from one orange and orange marmalade. Whisk this all properly and now let's fold in the dry ingredients. Keep a tablespoon of flour aside and add the remaining flour into the batter along with some baking powder and salt. Fold this in gently. Add the reserved flour to your raisins, just toss it up well and add it to the batter. Fold this in as well. The batter is ready and I have already prepared a 7 inch cake tin. I have lined it with parchment paper and I have greased it as well. So the batter goes into this cake tin. Just make sure you tap it a couple of times on your counter to level the batter. And on top of this goes some blanched almonds. So this concentric circular pattern with blanched almonds is what you would typically see on a Scottish Dundee cake. This cake needs to be baked at a low temperature of 165 degrees Celsius for about 50 to 60 minutes. So the top looks done and brown and a skewer inserted should come out clean. Now in case you feel that the top is browning too much, you can just cover it lightly with an aluminium foil to prevent that browning. The cake has baked, it has cooled down and is ready to be served. So I hope you try out this recipe for the Scottish Dundee cake and I'm sure you would definitely like it as well.